Hi people, my name's Titus, and today I have a tutorial on render texture targets used in conjunction with the scene capture components so you can make really cool camera systems in your projects. Um, I came across this uh, UE feature while searching for methods to create a camera network with live feeds, but um, I also see this feature used for creating procedural noise textures, which can be used for all sorts of things for your projects. Um, so starting off or setting up our project, I'm going to be demoing this in the third person template and I am going to include the starter content. So choose a location and give a name if you're going to follow along. Um, also, I'm going to be using some uh, static meshes from the Unreal Marketplace in the Blueprints project. It's an older project, I think it's like 4.27, um, but you can still import the assets into a, uh, an actual later uh, UE version, so let's go ahead and create our project here. Um, but yeah, so the render texture targets, um, basically I was looking for a way to create like a, a gadget for my, uh, my player, so you can basically like shoot and get kind of like a live feed from like around the corner. Um, but you can use this for like camera networks like you see in games like uh, Cyberpunk or, you know, what have you. Okay, um, so let's first set up our, our folder structure. Um, it's be pretty basic, I'm just gonna create two folders. Uh, blueprints and textures. Okay, now uh, let's import our assets. Uh, this is the thing I'm going to steal right here. It's basically a cool little camera with a, a view cone. Uh, so I'm going to grab the base, um, the actual camera, uh, the view cone, and I'm actually going to grab this alarm because I'm probably going to be doing stuff with that later. So I can right click, asset actions, and migrate. Select everything. And then you can uh, go to your project, which this one is RT textures content and then select the folder and that should be good and we can close this out and then under assets meshes you see the meshes are right there all right so um, I think to kind of demo this off I'll create a camera instance I'll have it capture the scene and then we'll have it um, display that scene on a TV panel um, so let's create a blueprint We'll call it an actor and BP underscore camera. Let's go into this guy. We'll dock it in our main window. And we're going to add a static mesh. We'll call it the mount. Make sure the mount's selected and add a second static mesh. And that'll be our camera. Reason you want to do this is because you want to be able to pivot the camera. Well, in later videos, I'm going to show you how to move the camera around and actually do like a like a scanning or passive uh, looking. Then we can execute some code off that. Uh, so I'll select the mount under the static mesh. I can search for the camera base. See it loads in there. Same thing with the camera. I can search for the camera lens. And there you go. Let's go ahead and add this into our scene. Go ahead and rotate it around. Pull it back. And then so it's not floating, I'll turn off snapping and just kind of dig it into the wall. Just a little bit. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, so now we got our camera. It doesn't really do anything, but we need to make it so it captures the scene. Um, so if we go back to our blueprint, uh, the next thing we can do, and we're gonna uh, child this under the camera component. We can add a scene capture component to dimension or 2D. And when you place your, it's basically just a camera actor, but when you place it, make sure it's in front of your mesh so it doesn't so you're not looking at like your mesh. You can see I might still, that would probably be okay, but I'm gonna move it out a little bit further, just to be safe. All right, and now that I have my scene component, it's not gonna do anything, but it is capturing. We need to create a way for the, um, 
the scene capture to save the data that it's capturing onto a texture and then dynamically update that texture too. So um, let me kind of show you what I mean there. So in order to do that, we'll go to our textures folder and we will create a render target texture. Call it RT underscore camera. And now if you open that up, you can set your resolution and you can also set your channels. Um, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna actually capture a color image. So I'm gonna leave them all on. Um, and then for the size of my aspect ratio or my resolution, I'm gonna do 1280 by 720. Um, it's pretty high, but this is just demoing purposes. You can, the lower the resolution, the more kind of like pixelated the image is gonna be, which is maybe something you're looking for depending on, you know, uh, what you're gonna be using this for in your project, right? You might want a blurry screen versus something that's crystal clear. Uh, the higher the number, obviously, the more memory, so keep that in mind, too. All right, so now if we go into our blueprint under the scene capture component, you can tell it um, where to write the information to. So if we select our um, render target texture and then compile and save, it's currently in scene. If I go back to my texture, you can see the scene. Now, if you wanted to see that in game, um, let's just create like a TV panel sort of thing. So let's create a shape and we'll do a plane. Uh, let's rotate it 90 degrees. We'll bring it up and let's scale it by three and two. good and then let's put it closer to actually I think it's already pretty close to the wall all right that's pretty good um, so if we wanted to display this image over here uh, you'd want to create a material um, so you can right click on your render target texture and do create material call it M underscore cam feed and then on whatever mesh you're doing this under you know it doesn't have to be a TV um, you can actually add it like on your character arm component so like your character can like look at his arm and get a feed of something you know something cool like that um, you just set the material to use your um, the target feed that you set up just like that if we open this up you can see it's plugging it into the color channel uh, which will work um, but it's probably gonna be a little bit dark um, so if you play this you can see me in the background. Well, I guess that'd be foreground, kind of moving around and jumping and it's updating in real time, which is pretty cool, but it's a little bit dark. Um, I think these work better if you plug them in the emissive channel. And you'll get a much brighter uh, image. That's probably more what you're looking for. But yeah. So that's pretty much... Um, just a short kind of tutorial. I'm gonna expand on this topic in a later video. We're gonna make the camera, uh, we'll get give a little bit of life to it. So I think we'll add a, uh, a collision component. We'll have it scan. Um, we'll maybe create some uh, alarm panels, maybe some doors, and then we can create like a, just a simple prototype of like when a character intercepts the camera uh, view finder, it'll maybe trigger an alarm state. Um, we'll give uh, code to the character where you can maybe disable the camera. Uh, and in a variety of fashions, just to show you how you know this, um, how you can expand this in in your own project. So, um, but yeah, all right, people, I'm gonna cut it here to keep the video short. Um, I'll go into other videos, so look out for a part two and probably a part three uh, on this camera tutorial. Uh, but hopefully, you found this helpful. If so, please leave a sub and a like. And as always, you can leave a comment on any future content you want covered. Um, and as always, thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.